Welcome and good evening to your Friday night showdown episode tonight with your commentator and GM tonight, the once in Phoenix City. I'll be commentating through all of your matches tonight. Obviously, you don't see my co commentator here at the minute, JPR, but it's fine. After last week's episode, we saw he got beat down, but the medical team have dealt with him and declared him all fit and well to f wrestle for Revolutionary Road. Oh, speaking of JPR, here he comes right now. Good evening, JPR. Listen, firstly, I must apologise um, for my actions last week. Um, between you and I, things have got very, very personal between me and Henry Winter. I understand that totally. What you won't have heard is that I made that match at Revolutionary Road. Yourself, JPR versus Henry Winter. That's obviously came and came. Explain here to JPR what he's obviously earned after that horrific DQ victory that he got last week and the society. Sick, what's going on here, huh? What's all this about giving people opportunities that they don't deserve? Because if I remember correctly, at the last match, when you were supposed to win to get that opportunity against Henry Winters, you lost. No, I won. And we're still having to earn our opportunities around here. What's different no. about him and me? No. What's the difference between us two and you? No, you shut up for a second. This is between me and Sid right here, our so-called general manager. What's your deal? Why have we just been given a title shot? Hmm? One win only. I asked for wins. I've only seen you perform once. One win and he still hasn't won. Why are you so impatient? I won by disqualification. Maybe we're so impatient because of people like you just getting any opportunities they want. What you got to say about that, huh, big guy? What Listen, you got to say about whoa, whoa. that, big guy? Listen, mate. I won against Cayman. You won? By disqualification, yeah. Yeah, you really look like a winner with those chair shots around your back, didn't you? Big bad JPR getting all messed up by Cayman Carlisle with your chair. Huh? How does that feel? How does that feel? I wouldn't do this if I were Oh, you. would I not? Would I not? No, seriously. What's wrong with that, huh? What's wrong with that? Mate. What's wrong? Mate. Come on. Are do you, something then. Mate, let's make this match now. Right. I'll tell you what then, since you're all here, you two decide between you which one's going to wrestle tonight. JPR, we'll meet you in that ring and we're going to have that match right now at the start of Friday Night Showdown. And prepare to get beaten by Dakara. Bunch of jump top sons of... The society here, demanding, demanding, demanding. Right, where's the ref? Where's the ref? Ref! Here we have it. Our referee is out. We asked opening match of the night after that altercation here between JPR and the society. Obviously, society demanding, why aren't we getting title shots here? And he's just done that. They have to realise he's been around. He did do a match and it was Cayman Carlisle that's giving the stipulation that obviously if JPR could win, he could get that match. I told the society there, wins mean something. I've only seen them perform once here on Showdown. And They've got, yes, one win to it. So let's see tonight what they can do. I know it's a one on one match, but let's see what they've got. So here we have it our opening contest of Friday Night Showdown for you. He's my co commentator, JPR, again in the ring against Robert DeCara. I don't think Dakara realised the strength that obviously JPR does have here. JPR had a clean break. As soon as he heard that ref say one, he was a break. The break happened. Obviously Remus there outside giving his tag team partner motivational speech. Just making sure he keeps on top. Huge push there by Dakara into the corner. Using all the seconds up to four, and then just after pulling back, hitting down JPR here. Oh, huge drive. JPR, the quick right of turn Whoa, Huge forearms to the camera. JPR, one right side, cheeky seven. We know what happens, and it's the big. Ooh, a huge kick there to the camera's back. Quick cover. Just a two count there we've got. JPR saw the opening. 
quick to turn him around there. Quick. And then I put your aim and said, oh. Champion needs to be careful here. Being described, oh. There we have it again. This numbers game we keep seeing. These wrestlers need to realize. Just keep their eye on their opponent and not the person at the side of the ring. Oh. Huge close on there by Dakar. And a pin on just a two count there. There is more motivational speaking by Remus outside that ring. Ah, oh, not a shot to JP as he's down. JPR. JPR really needed a quick match tonight, so to speak, but obviously provoked here at the, com at the commentary desk, being pushed by the society here, getting him angrier and angrier. There's no other option. I asked him if he was ready for a match, and we called it. JPR here struggling, getting the life sucked out of that But the guy breaks out. Oh! Huge knee there by Dakar on JPR. I've seen all this. I've been talked to you by Raymond. I'm seeing it all, I'm watching everything. Just Scarlett and Remus now. They're asking if I'm watching it all here. And obviously I am, because I'm commentating and watch everything we have here on Friday Night Show. As general manager, it's my duty to make sure I watch every match we have here. And, oh, and again we see Dakar get using all the seconds he can. Oh, after that, short round the ropes, and then a huge knee afterwards. Oh, move oh, JPR here, obviously, taking a beat down. We are just one day away from Revolutionary Road. JPR needs to make sure this doesn't sap all the life out of him because he has that huge match against Henry Winter tomorrow, 29th of January. Revolutionary road. But at the minute, it's Dakaro still on top, still taking the life. Oh, huge elbow to the guy by JPR. And a forearm to break free. Dakaro, you can see in his face that he was feeling them shots. But there we have it. We saw it earlier by Dakara. He took the took the breath out of JPR. Oh, oh, that was either a huge uppercut or a back elbow there. Snap that into a oh, huge running drop kick straight to the high chest of JPR. But still, only a two count there. Like I said before, revolutionary run is around the corner. It's tomorrow. And JPR is still in this match, still having to fight here. Oh no! Oh no! The referee here oh, couldn't get out of the way of that move by Dakara, just slamming into the ref. Oh no, this, this is dangerous, obviously, because we have Remus at the side. Are they going to utilize this? Obviously, we know referee to DQ, but huge dunk by JPR and the line. JPR, James and Tash, and oh, huge move there by JPR. He's calling it. Get up, get up, get up. Charging in. Oh, Making them huge momentum to get that huge spear. Just run past the counter. Calling it. Oh, oh, the ref, JPR there, calling the ref to wake up. But obviously, not enough there to have that match sealed away. JPR in a bit of shock. Oh, shot in there by Dakar. Oh no, ref still struggling here to get to his feet as Remus has taken advantage of the referee being there. And it's there. Oh, huge, huge mistake there by the society. JPR moving out of the way. Oh, it's a huge run, run, do they see? By JPR, the ref. JPR, the quick to call that ref. One, two, three. There we have it. Oh, winner tonight, Chapia. Huge momentum here. He has going in to Revolutionary Road tomorrow. Live on Fight TV and the UKW Network. Oh! Remus there. There we go. Not today. There we go. Not today. 
huge victory there. JPI, quite to take from that mistake from the society. They were trying to take the advantage there of the ref being down. Remus holding the arms back of JPI as the Cara came in for that huge running knee. And JPI there, quick enough to duck under and get out of the way. And a huge knee hit Remus, which sent him flying into the barriers, which took the distraction of the Cara off. In shock, I'm hitting his partner, and then JPR hitting that huge red rum DDT to get the victory here tonight on our opening contest of Friday Night Showdown. But don't forget, tomorrow, live, we have Revolutionary Road. That was just the opening match. We got to see JPR warming up and going into huge momentum going forward to fight Henry Winter tomorrow at Revolutionary Road, one-on-one, -on -one, the match he's wanted for a long time here now. And here I stand, and still your UKW women's dream ticket holder. I would have been stood here, your UKW heavyweight champion, if it wasn't for Jester Jera and Cerebral Steve. But I digress. Last week, I answered Young Horace's open challenge. And I was successful in that challenge, obviously. But after the match, I saw him crying and whining and say how he wasn't ready to be beaten by some woman. Well, I'm not just some woman. I am the history maker, the women's dream ticket holder, and a really nice person. And because I'm a really nice person and feel a little bit sorry for you, I'm willing to give you a rematch. And this time, tonight, you will have more time to prepare for it and repair for it, and you will have no excuse when I beat you again. So there we have it. Words from Leonie Rose telling young Horace that she's giving him his rematch tonight with plenty of warning this time so he can be ready for the match and no excuses this time. Now, huge words. Let's see if young Horace can turn it around this time and get his first win of 2022. But let's take it down to ringside now for our next match tonight, the Around the Clock Championship match. Please welcome to the ring first, the challenger, Joe Sedgwick. And here he is, it's Joe Sedgwick, the man that is on the up and down 22 so that crowd absolutely loving Joe Cedric since he's arrived here, since his debut. He's done nothing but get better each match you watch. You can see he's learning. He's pinning after huge moves now. He's, he's able to strike, shoot match we saw with Sir Abrost there. His technique is there. Everything is coming into place for Joe Cedric. This is going to be one huge challenge for Billy O'Keefe on his final defence before Revolutionary Road. Will we have that match not happening against Andrew Jepson and Billy O'Keefe since we've got a new champion, Joe Sedgwick? Or will Billy O'Keefe be able to re retain? And please welcome his opponent and current round the clock champion, Billy O'Keefe! And here he is, our round the clock champion. A final defence before Revolutionary Rock happening tomorrow, the 29th of January. Will we see that match that was announced weeks ago between Andrew Jepsen and Billy O'Keefe? He's just got this match to get through. But like I said before, Joe Cedric here is probably a huge opponent to try and hold on to the belt here. Ref here just checking away. Happy with Joe Sedgwick taking that bell. Checking Billy O'Keefe here. And here we have it. We're underway. The Around the Clock Championship on Friday Night Showdown. Joe Sedgwick, the challenger against our champion, Billy O'Keefe. Huge start with a big lock up here, both testing each other's strength. Still, both holding on. Oh, there we are. Clean break, both 
not giving each other any distance. Oh, quick move there by Billy to take it into that wrist lap. Then into the hammerlock, yeah. Quick headlock, oh, that headlock take on. Billy or Keith here at the start of this match on top. To see reading each other with that speed. Oh, quick arm drag there by Joe Cedric. Oh, Billy O'Keefe returning the favour. Joe Cedric, they're quick to lock the headlock back in. Still, neither have got the upper hand in this match yet. Oh, oh Joe Cedric using his smarts. Oh, not even a one count. Billy O'Keefe tries it. No, not even a one count there. The speed of this match that by is unreal. Whoa, huge move! Is it a pin? Is it a quick roll? Just a two count there. Will keep from the top rope. No, Joe catches him. Can Joe get it? Oh, huge elbow there by Billy O'Keefe to break that hole. Just said you bitch, you know, go driver. Oh, host the leg. Oh, just a two count, but like I said there, we're now seeing Joe Sedgwick using them huge moves and then getting the pin straight after. He's learned from obviously his debut in 2021. We're now seeing this new Joe Sedgwick. Billy though, using his experience here, knowing he needed a quick breather and rolling out. No, no. Spinning back body drop there by Billy O'Keefe. Just rolled himself over on Joe Sedgwick's back and then turned it into a spinning back. Billy missing there with that baseball drop kick. Joe Sedgwick here, going for it. It's, oh! He was going for that suicide dive but Billy O'Keefe had him scouted there and gave him that huge forearm. Billy O'Keefe here, hitting the ropes. Oh, he's gone for it! Suicide dive! Huge move there by Billy O'Keefe. Crowd appreciating that suicide dive there by Billy O'Keefe. Over here, right? take it back into the ring. Yeah. Oh, that huge running for him, Billy O'Keefe. Is this a true mark? He's up. He's on there. He is. It's the true mark. Billy O'Keefe. Monkey flip. We see that, we know it's a huge one. And Billy oh, oh, gets the pin one, two, oh, just a two count there. Oh, both hands trying to lock it in better, but still only a two count. You can see Joey's feeling this now, he knows he's in a match. Billy there, looking around. Crowd here, evenly split, 50 50. You can hear a chance for both competitors in their face. Oh, Huge hook into that line of Billy O'Keefe. Just the two there. Billy. Knowing. Not wanting this match to go on too far. Because obviously if he retains his title here, he's going to revolutionary road against Andrew Jefferson. Oh, Billy on the top rope. Oh, 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 forearm. Is he? Is he at the end? One, two. Oh, just a two again. Billy. Be unsure what he needs to do here to put Joe Cedric away. Taking that arm, locking it in. Oh, gruesome submission here. Oh, putting pressure there on Joe Cedric. It's in the centre of the ring here. Joe Cedric is going to have a long way to get out of this move. Crowd though, trying to give Joe that strength, that feeding, that feeling off the carrier. Joe, he got it! Oh, oh they just quick pull up! The ref is still not, didn't call it quick enough. It's, it's still locked in now into a nice sort of leg lock on Joe Sedgwick here. Joe again, crawling for that rock. Like we said, every time he's got a move or a struggle or a strain, every kick out, every shot, he's taking energy out of Joe Sedgwick. Billy there using his skills. That submission now, working, working the, with the head of Joe Sedgwick. We've seen him work the back, then into the legs, now onto the head. He's wearing Joe Sedgwick down here, Billy O'Keefe. So, getting back to vertical base here. Both men still on baby. Joe escaping. Oh, sure, not together. Joe just getting space to move. Oh, 
You could hear that back elbow up here, Joe, just using all that he's got. Oh, oh fisherman suplex, I'm bridging into a pin. Just a two count there. Joe Cedric, you can see that took a lot out of him there. But there he is, he's gonna feed more off that car, asking them to get some. Oh, he's going up, he's going up, is this it? Is this it? No, Billy, okay. No, I want saving face, no. Reversed again. Oh, just as you go. Oh, oh, oh. It's here. It's here. It's the one drop. But it's a modified one drop there, right, Josh? We're some good dancing. It's got to be over. What? Oh, that's the one drop. That has to win. I'm gonna have to give. I'm gonna have to give Josh Edwards some tips on how to hit that move there. I'm gonna have to tell him how to hit that move. When I hit that move, it's the one, two, and three. Joe only getting the two. It was a close to nearly that three, but. I'll have to give him some pointers in the back there. That modified one drop. Oh, Billy with a huge uppercut to get out. Handspring. What do we see? Oh, 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 oh! Beautiful in the one there by Joe Sedgwick. Pin. Still, two count. We've just seen him hit the one drop. Get the two. Then he reverses that handspring back out of it. Into the blue thunderbomb. Gets the pin. The crowd calling for the hard target here. Joe. Yes, feeling it, going up to the top here. High risk. Is it gonna reap the reward? Are we gonna see a new around the car champion? Oh no! Oh, the hard dang it just hitting hard into the canvas. Not what he had entailed. Both men here now down. Both men have been took out. Guys are on to a four count here already. Now on a five billion, you know, grabbing them ropes for extra support to get onto vertical base. Joe Sendrick still just to knees, Billy up onto feet. Billy's up. Oh, Joe's up. Oh, you heard that forearm here. Oh, huge forearm, try back. Oh, we're trading off here. Oh, which man is gonna go down? Billy there, change the kick to go. Huge European upcut. Both men still vertical base. Oh, huge. And Zaguri kick there. Puts, puts Josh Sedgwick into the corner. Billy kicks to the go. Two. Oh. And send off. No. Reversal. Billy. Oh. Oh. Cool. Oh, is he going to roll up? No. Oh, he's put it in. Oh. The same in pace. That's got to be it. There it is. That is it. There it is. Billy O'Keefe has retained the Around the Clock Championship, the final defence before Revolutionary Row. So we have it. There it is. Billy O'Keefe will be putting his title on the line against Andrew Jepson tomorrow night. Revolutionary Row. Live on the UKW Network and Fight TV. Huge victory there for Billy O'Keefe. Took the one drop. He took the blue thunderbolt, survived them both. Some signature moves there by Joe Sedgwick. Great show of respect there from Ivan Pompey to Billy holding out the hand of Joe. Joe telling me he was that close, and I agree, he was that close to getting that victory there. But there we have, still our round the clock champion going into Revolutionary Road is Billy Oki. Championship match we had there. Both men giving it their all. <sighs> if that's what the Around the Clock Championship is turning into, that is one tough title to keep hold of. The competition is rising every week here. I was informed by the general manager, Sid Phoenix, that I will have a match against Johan Hun. Am I scared? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not scared. Because thing is, I don't side with the good guys. I don't side with the bad guys. If anything, I'm on the cliff side. What? Who's this in there? That, that, that sounds like Big, Big Duncan. Obviously, last time I saw him, I, I, I don't want to mess with him. He was very... Aggressive, very angry. I, I, hopefully, he's in a better mood tonight. Please welcome to the ring at this time, Big Duncan. Oh, no, not that, that, that face there. It's not looking happy at all. I'll just offer, offer the mic here. 
Oh, God. Just snatching it. Yeah, that's new Ben Duncan. What, is, what has he come out here tonight to say? Just how he's seen him change. He was like a nice, big, friendly giant, and now he's just this. Get in my way, I'll hit you with that fall of man slap. We've not seen anyone get up yet when he has hit that move. I'm intrigued to hear what he's got to say tonight. Well, you're all saying boys to say me, boys. Shut up! Seen the wildcat Tommy Dillon here. Big Duncan telling you. Come on, Tommy. Tommy Dillon. Come on, Tommy. Come on, Tommy. Tommy Dillon. It's, it's not looking mm -hmm. like it. There's no, no, no music hitting. Oh, I forgot. There's a reason he's not here. I suppose going 10 feet in the air. I'm waiting for our pathetic manager oh. to pick his scraggy ass off the concrete. Fact of the matter is, he's not here. Why would he be? The biggest guy in UKW has decided I'm not being nice no more. So if you can get your ass off the floor, I'll see you at a revolutionary road. Oh, oh, huge friends. Like even Slate and Mia kind of managed to pick him up off the floor. But massive words there. We've got it. We know Big Duncan is going to be at revolutionary road. Is the wild card Tommy Dillon going to be there? We called him out tonight to no answer. Is he going to be fit and able? Is he made it fit? We saw that huge joke slam, obviously off the stage from Big Duncan last week. And yeah, me and JPR and the ref did have to pick him up. It was it was just horrible to see. But hopefully, the Wildcat Tommy Dillon is cleared and medical ready for Revolutionary Road tomorrow night, live on the UKW Network and Fight TV. But nonetheless, Friday night showdown has to carry on. So let's take it ringside for our next contestants. Your next match is a singles match set for one fall. Making his way to the ring first, please welcome Cliff Harrison. And here we have it. It's Cliff Harrison entering the ring. As we saw earlier, he doesn't side with the good guy. He doesn't side with a bad guy. He signs, as he put it, on the cliff side. Obviously, a bit of a, a bit of a giant killer. Debut match, he took out Mustafa Khan. Then he obviously went for Andrew Jepson, we saw. Obviously, want us lucky in that one. Jepson got there. Ooh, well, it's a kind of oh. There we have it, the music hit. It's the man his opponent making wolves. his way to the ring. Johan Hunt. Hunt. This man has gone on a winning streak so far. But it is due to we have seen interferences from Leonie Rose. We're still skeptical whether there is an alliance or anything. Obviously, we've seen it twice now, and the last time they were out, they did do a bit of a fist bump. But again, here he comes to the side ring on his own. Well, so, as it stands to me, 
I don't think there's an alliance agreed yet or any anything happened yet. Here we have it, Cliff Harrison on the cliff side against raised by wolves, or as he says, raised by freaking wolves, Johan Hunt. Oh, Cliff's like going for a locker. Johan with a quick kick to the gut, having none of that style. Just start with him. You know, I don't just send him off and get him that huge drop kick there. Fast start, you know, we can see him you know, have them wins that he's got so far, giving him this confidence to just go all out attack. So far, that is what I am seeing. Using all of that can to the limit. We remember, he gets to five, he's out of here. He used four and three quarters there. You could see how close he was to being disqualified. <laughs> oh, reverse by Cliff. Cliff, sending himself up. Oh, hero drive. Hi, right, Cliff there. And a forearm into Johan Hunt. Stopping the progress from sort of Johan Hunt taking the lead. Is, oh, I'm taking it. Cliff Harrison picking him up. Oh, Atomic. Oh, Atomic dropping a back jump there. Quick cover. Only a two count. Oh, Cliff not hooking the leg there. Not making Johan Hunt have to use all his energy to kick out of that one. Just putting his body there. He could have made Johan work a tiny bit harder on that cover there. Exert a bit more energy. Oh, but we still see Cliff on top of them. Huge strike. Oh! Just a two there on that side effect. Oh, Cl Cliff asking the ref. Are you counting, ref? You know, one having to use the rock to try and get back on vertical base here. Cliff makes you oh, face to the buckle there by Johan. And a second one there. Johan, you can see feeling that on this. Uh, Cliff sending him off. Oh, huge buckle took by Johan. Oh, big, big boot miss. Oh, huge neck breaker there. Just a two count there, you saw. Johan on there, hooking that leg, making Cliff work extra hard to kick out of that cover, making him use that extra energy I was mentioning earlier. Oh, huge snap suplex there by Johan Hunt. Oh, you can see that hurt at the back of Cliff Harrison there. Johan Hunt there. Getting full range in the ring and flying close line, using all that body weight into a huge line. Cliff hitting it in a oh, you want calling get up? You want is he? He's on that top rope. Oh, 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 is it over? Is it over? Hooks that line. Two, two, just a two count there on Johan Hunt. The elevation he got off that top rope to hit that forearm. I, I thought personally that was a... Uh, Johan Hunt getting a bit took by the crowd, but still making sure he keeps hit working on Cliff Harrison. Oh, run him on the, out the corner there by Johan Hunt. I, I don't think I've seen him hit that move before. That is a Leonie Rose move, so to speak. We see Leonie Rose hitting that bulldog a lot. Oh, oh. 
that. That was interesting to see that move being hit there. A new one by Tavi P. Uh, by Johan Hunt, my apologies there. Cliff showing his strength, just catch him. Oh, huge oh, slam. Cliff Harris. Johan feeling it. Oh, huge boat to the chest there. Oh, quick cover. Oh, it hooked the leg at the last second there. Still couldn't get that three he's needing for his W here. Oh, Cliff Harrison Colin. Let's end this. Oh, huge arm to that. Whoa, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, and then you're right again. Billy Rose coming out to the aid of Johan Hunt again. This is happening time after time. We're seeing Johan Hunt. Oh, the distraction into a huge kick to go. Oh, Phantom Stomp. Is this it again? Have we seen on the only most distraction giving Johan Hunt? We have it again. Johan Hunt picking up the win with the aid of the only most distracting Cliff Harrison there. And he Using that distraction, that's Cliff fed around. Huge kick to the goal into that phantom stomp. There it is, Johan Hunt winning again, and we saw it again. The fist bumps from Leonie Rose and Johan Hunt again after a match. Look at the respect shown here. Uh, this sort of seems to be aligned, but it's not on the end. You, you can see they're sort of a team, but not a team. Together, stood at the top of the round. Are they a team? Are they not a team? I don't know, but that's three times now I've seen Leonie Rose come out to the aid of Johan Hunt and get him the victories here. He's 2022, it's happening great for him. Obviously, he's not won clean yet, not won his own match on his own. Leonie Rose has been helping him out every time. Cliff here, leaving, just, just wondering what's happened. Not happy that distraction caught him off balance, costing him that match. <sighs> Huge victory again from Johan Hom. Obviously, I'm going to have to ask the questions there. Is there an alliance from it? What is going on? Why is Leonie Rose coming out every match he's having? That I'll try and find out for all you guys. JPR. <sighs> I saw you versus Kevin, and just afterwards you got a little taste, didn't you, of what's going to go down tomorrow. But here's the thing, Justin, as his wife calls him. The last time you competed in the UK wrestling ring, I put you on the shelf for two years, a bit longer. The last time you took a swing at winter, I left you lying, bleeding in a pool of your own tears. So I will give you this, take some real balls to step up. I respect that, but the other thing that I'm going to give you is the beating of a lifetime. You'll see tomorrow night. There we have it, huge words from Henry Winter to JPR, bringing his family into that promo. <sighs> Massive words, just before Revolutionary Road we have there, Henry Winter telling him he might going to put him on the shelf again. Obviously we saw JPR earlier tonight showing he got a win. Showing he's, he's ready, he's not ring rusty, he's ready for that match of Revolutionary Road tomorrow night. Live on UKW Network and Fight TV. Henry Winter, JPR, tomorrow night. Who will win? We will find out. But, nonetheless, let's head to ringside again and let's get the next contestant on the way. Your next match is a singles match set for one fall. Making her way to the ring first, please welcome Leone. Rose. Here we are, it's Leonie Rose who we saw earlier tonight. Aiden, Johan Hunt, he needs another victory here. Will she come out on her own? Will Johan Hunt be there? I don't know, do you? No, there we have it. Leonie Rose on her own. This would have been the heavyweight championship if it wasn't for just the Sorry, Hey. Hey, so what are talking about? I can't help it. There she is, referencing to last week that she wouldn't have been the UKW Heavyweight Champion if it had not been for the Playtime Mafia. 
Cerebro Steve and Jester J. Ron Lewis. Obviously, they knew if Leone became champion that that unification match in the ladder match that's meant to happen tomorrow night would not have happened because we would have had a new champion in Leone Rose. But obviously, they got involved and stopped that dream ticket of Leone Rose as being cashed in. So here we have it, like we saw earlier in the night. Leone giving Young Horace a chance to get ready for this match. There's not an open challenge set by Young Horace this time. It's, he's been prepped, he's been told to get ready for the rematch. So, will Young Horace be able to turn that loss last week into the win this week? And her opponent making his way to the ring, Young Horace! He's looking ready this time. This is not your wall. fault! There it is, shouting at we me. We forgot it was fine, it was an open challenge. This is your booking, Sid. Who the hell do you think you are? You had one in this time. Blaming me for his open challenge. He called the open challenge. He set the stipulations. It wasn't my fault that it was Leone Rose that answered them last week. Obviously, shouting at me. But at least this week, he's had time to prepare for this rematch. Leone Rose told him, I'll give you that rematch. I'll let you warm up. I'll let you be ready. I'll let you know that I'm your opponent tonight. So obviously, let's see if we're going to see a different result tonight. Or is it going to go the exact same way? Telling each other, Leone, they're telling game check now. I'm telling us, Leone runs her mouth every week, but we're gonna have it. And we're off, underway. Leone runs against Young Horace, the rematch. No excuses on this one. Both have been prepared for this match, both know who the opponent was tonight on Friday Night Showdown. I mean, like you say, stipulations, if you look, they are the same height. That was his stipulation. They had to be the same height or less than him. And the other one, not a champion. All she is is a dream ticket holder. That is not championship. Oh! You got to a snap of them fingers from here. Young Horace grabbing the hand of and snapping them fingers. The effect on her hand there, that will hold. Oh! And then doing a test of strength grip into it. Your horse on the ropes. What? Climbing up? Is he? Is he? Oh! Huge! Using them ropes and turmoil into that hand drag of your Horace. You've seen him. Oh! Huge step on the knee there in the corner. Are you uh, And running out into a. Oh! The only Ross obviously knows that move well. She uses the running bulldog. She knew how well, to get that one. Way. But Young Horace reversing it again. They only charged in, but he got through them rocks. Okay. Young Horace, high risk. Oh, it's, it's a huge axe handle slam on the early rolls there, taking her off her feet. Oh, and to a pin hook the leg. Two count there after that huge axe handle slam from Young Horace. We have seen a, a, a Young Horace is looking ready for this match. He hasn't won in 2022, but tonight he's looking impressive. He's looking very good, but they're being distracted again by the crowd. This is what we said. He needs to focus on his opponent in the ring here, not worry about that crowd. Get the victory before you talk to that crowd. But no respect. trying to tell everyone in the UKW audience to stop taking him for a joke and they gave it back as much as he gave it but there we have it huge leg lock in by young Horace there on Leone Rose Leone is straining to try and get them ropes but in the centre of the ring great ring position by young Horace but, but he's just, just giving away like that oh, but takes it straight into that headlock Young Horace getting in. Oh, looking at that hand, hand again. Oh, but Leone, we're quick reversal. Sending him into the corner. Leone, oh, 
I was charging him, but young Horace read that with his huge boot to the face. Oh, and he got a huge forearm there into the young Horace. Oh, huge elbow there from the other. Oh, a forearm mixing them up there, them strikes. Oh, young Horace. Flop. No, the only one catches him. Oh, huge snake eyes took by young Horace there. Only Rose just catching him and then throwing him up very cool. So he's on his face and his eyes hit into that turn. Crown here, trying him for a chop on young horse. Leonie silencing us all, so I best whisper. Oh, you weren't in there. You heard that echo from this arena when she ran down. Oh, the disrespect there. Calling her a stupid woman. How dare you. Everyone here is on level playing fields. We don't do any of them. Oh, feeling the brunt of that chop for that comment he made. And he deserves it. Oh. Leone there taunting him after that second chop, young Arister. Leone there trying to take someone down. A bit choking referees to get himself in there. He's coming. Oh, she's using every second in there. Using four and three quarters. She knowing she's got until five, not. Oh, there it is. That trademark move by Leon in that huge stretch boot to choke in the corner. Showing how flexible she can get, how high that leg can go. Oh, the only they're taunting and not seeing Young Horace get a second win there. Sending her up into the corner. Young Horace across. Oh, huge forearm and jump and over. Oh, on the open. Young Horace blocks. Young Horace moving down. Middle of the ring now on the camera. Oh, send the in. Oh. You could hear the echo in that kick from here. Young Horace using the rope. Oh, he's like huge off the rope, jumping knee into the only rose there. Is he going for a pin eye? Is he? Yes, he is. He forgot to... Two. Just a two count there. If you'd have hooked that leg there, what do you got, my... But there we are, a second pin, quick succession. He's trying to tire out the only rose here. He knows she's been around in the UKW a while now. She's not a newbie here. She's experienced. She'll have the stamina to go off the match. Yeah, Horace is targeting that back. Yeah. Holding that, that sat down camel coach. Leone feeling it on the lower back where he's putting that pressure on the face where he's reckoning. And they are snapping that arm huge snap there on the eye and hooks the leg just a two guy there from young horse with his arm being snapped back just there obviously the only rose was wanting to lock in that ddt that she calls the death drop she needs them arms to hook it in he's making them a weakness so she can't hold him in there feeding the leone back to her feet is he going for a suplex here? Oh, the only rose were a reversal. And super young Horace. Huge reversal there. The only rose going with the trailing river. Oh, there it is. She had to. It's the Red Queen, as she calls it. That nice buster. Two. But just a two count there. Of a huge move. The Red Queen hit. But no, just a two count. Leone shocked that didn't end the match here. The crowd are heckling Leone Rose about that one. Only Rose picking no, not with the strength after a back target. Only quick duck. Oh, quick sweep of the leg there by Leone Rose. Oh, how are we gonna see? How are we gonna? No, no, no young Horace there. Using them ropes to get out before the only could hold that submission in and put pressure on your heart. The only rose here, kneeling down, taunting him, taunting him. What, 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 oh, what, what, oh, 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 oh,
We have you. We have Johan Hun. He's, he's come to ringside. This is a role reversal. Normally, we've been seeing Leonie Rose here coming to the aid of Johan Hunt here. But obviously, we have Johan Hunt here talking to the... Oh, 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 but the ref was distracted. The ref hasn't seen it. You know, young Horace has brought the hold now. He's brought the hold here. He hasn't realised. The ref hasn't seen it. Oh. Yeah, young Horace questioning. Young Horace questioning. questioning it. Oh, no. Wait, right, though. Can I just hold this down? Oh, and there we have it. Leonie Rose using the distraction of Johan Hunt here to pick up the victory again over Young Horace. I, I, I'm not being wrong. Summer has obviously going on here. That is now they have helped each other tonight on this one show. We've seen them help each other pick up the victory here. And there, Johan Hunt holding Leonie Rose's arm aloft after our victory of a young Horace again. Definitely got to find out for everyone what is happening here. We are seeing some sort of friendship, alliance. Is this a future mixed intergender tag team partnership here? Johan Hunt raising the arm of Leon Rose. Definitely something going on here. I'll take this back. Of course you can. Taking her dream ticket away because she still hasn't cashed it in. Obviously around the corner is revolutionary around. A lot of championships on the line there. Will she use it then? We'll have to find out on UKW Network or Fight TV. But here we have Young Horace in the ring here. Having to go at the ref. Having to go at the ref here. He needs to work out. It's not his fault. He got distracted. The ref can't help if Johan Hunt comes out here and, and distracts it. Poor referee having to obviously get in the abuse of Johan Horace. But there it is, still on his losing streak in 2022. Johan Horace still searching for that victory. I'm, I'm sure he's going to give me any info, blame me for this happening. Even though I'm just sat here as a GM and commentator. No, 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 I'm not calling you on him to come out. I'm not stopping none of that. This is all your fault, see Phoenix. See, there we are, Teddy, with that. Why you got a match? I can't stop distractions. As I predicted, I knew he was going to uh, give it, call it my fault. Instead of taking the blame himself, it's his fault. He lost the match, I didn't wrestle it, I didn't distract him. It's down to him, not me. Up oh, next. I think we have, oh it is, it is, it is Mustafa Khan here, coming out here, obviously we know tomorrow he has that huge open challenge match that was answered by Paul Huberus, we know that is happening tomorrow. Let's hear what he's got to say. Say Phoenix. We know that you're the general manager of UKW Showdown. You also know that Mustafa Khan is in a high profile match tomorrow night against Paul Hubris. I do. You also know, and everyone else knows, that Mustafa Khan likes to add a bit of spice to the mix. I want to talk about the men's dream ticket contract. I know it was won and lost in one night. So I'm asking you, Sid, Mustafa Khan versus Paul Hubris tomorrow night at the Revolutionary Road. Make it a dream ticket match. I'll tell you what, I like the mods. I'm going to make that match. So tomorrow at Revolutionary Road, we're going to have Mustafa Khan versus Paul Hubris. And it is for the dream ticket contract. Obviously, we all know what that means. That means if Mustafa wins, he can pick any championship to go for. But it means if Paul Hubris, debuting here at the UKW Arena tomorrow night, has a chance to go at any of our champions, if he can beat Mustafa Khan in that match. I appreciate it. Thank you. Best of luck. There, huge. He may have called it, he asked for it. He wanted me to add some spice, as he says, to his match. He asked for it, 
Why not? Let's do it. Let's give Paul Huber something to fight about. Let's give Mustafa Khan something to fight about. He said he's on one last run. Way back when. He's come back fitter and healthier in 2022. So let's give him a shot. A uh, dream ticket. A chance to cash in on any championship in the UKW arena. But obviously, he's got to go through Paul Humbrus. Vice versa, Paul Humbrus debuting in the UKW arena at Revolutionary Road tomorrow night. If he wins, he can choose any champion we have and have a shot at their title. It's huge. It's going to be Revolutionary Road, 29th of January, tomorrow night, live on UKW Network and Fight TV. Me personally, I can't wait for that. So here we have it, it's that time of the night. It's the contract signing time. I'm going to make it official on UKW Showdown. I'm going to make the contract signed. I'm the witness for that ladder match at Revolution Road tomorrow night between Jonathan Sedgwick and Jester J. Lewis to unify the UKW Heavyweight Championship. So I'll see you in that ring. So here we have it, the contract signing for tomorrow night's ladder match to unify the UKW Heavyweight Championship. So I'd like to introduce first the challenger to the ring, Jester Jerrell Lewis. And his opponent, the UKW heavyweight champion, Jonathan Sedgwick. So, we'll start for the challenger to sign the contract first. Sign a contract to make this official. It's 
done. It's official. Any words from the challenger? You don't like it that I'm in this position right now, do you? You've had the biggest guys ever to walk through the doors give you half the problems that I have. And the thing is, I'm not one to cause conflict, but lately, I've kind of been enjoying it. Because it's becoming more prominent, and this, as you all say, is the final chapter. I'm going to climb. I'm going to take down the real championship and that little toy you've got there. And I'm going to prove what I've been saying all this time. Now, I'm not getting twisted. I'm not stupid to think that Cedric's no good because he's one of, if not the best, to ever walk through our doors. Right? I'm not daft to underestimate Mr. Cedric, but we all know Mr. Cedric is daft enough to underestimate me. And that is what the biggest show of the year in your company, I became the top dog. And tomorrow night, 24 hours from now, it's going to happen all over again, Cedric. Only this time, you won't be able to wriggle all the old rematch clauses in there. It's your company, yes, but you must follow your own rules, right? Last chance saloon. Winner takes all. And I will be. As I keep saying, Jester, 24 hours to go. There'll be no more excuses. Only one of us can climb this ladder, retrieve both these belts, and this time, it's going to be one on one. As I said, you signed a contract. This contract states Cerebral Steve is banned from ringside. So I'll take both belts off you now. heard it from me, it's official, we've done the contract signing, there we have it, a handshake of respect in the ring from the fight time match, yes, just here, no, no, what just happened, what's just happened, oh, my god, my rib got into a huge cow kick, oh, I'm running, I'm just, I'm, oh, I've just seen, we, we just saw the respect shown by them both, handshake done in the middle of that ring, man, Playtime Mafia there, using the numbers game. Getting Jonathan off guard. We heard Jester Jiro, we must say, say Playtime Steve, and then we just saw Steve. Oh, no, this is unbelievable. Will this be the scene at Revolutionary Road? The size hall we've got time for tonight on Friday Night Showdown. Will this be what we see tomorrow? Revolutionary Road on the UK Dummy Network on 5 TV. Will it be Jester Jiro Lewis on top of that ladder? Oh, will we see Jonathan Sedgwick be able to get up from that fish SSO? It's my pleasure. Oh, I want Sid Phoenix. Good night.